Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm Shane. That's Austin. We're reacting to Attack on Titan. So, yeah, uh, really good last episode. Uh, it definitely kept us on our toes. Yes, very like, intense. Intense. Very. A lot of surprises. Yeah. This show is already surprising, but I feel like in this episode in particular, there was like three or four moments where I was just like, whoa, wasn't expect. Whoa, wasn't expect. Oh, whole, wasn't yeah, expecting that. Yeah, the whole like that. And yeah. it actually had one of my favorite scenes in the whole series with uh, Sasha's dad. Yeah, that's like that, like that's a top five speech, and it's probably like top, a top three 10 speech, scene. top ten scene. Yeah, yeah like that, that that whole scene was so good. Yeah, that, that, that whole family is just incredible. Yeah, uh, which I mean, it goes to show because we saw who who Sasha was yeah. as a character, and it makes sense that that was her father. I know. Maybe we'll finally see his journey to like Marley. I, I know we say that every time. That's yeah. just because we want to see it. But two, I know two years is a long time, and two years is enough time to change someone, but. Like where Aaron's head is at right now, and the fact that he's like not communicating with any of our people mm -hmm. or any of the scouts, and he has this whole like cult thing going on, it's like something severe must have happened. Yep. Or in my head, I am kind of hoping that it's a like because Aaron from the beginning hasn't been a hero, but he's been like our protagonist, and he's always been a good. So I'm just like deep down, I'm just hoping that maybe this is all a ploy or something. So That's maybe he's trying to like. Yeah, do things in a separate way to make sure it gets done right, but he has to sacrifice his honor to do it. I don't know. That's Could what be. I'm hoping. Just because, like, a lot of people have died in his wake of whatever the fuck's happening. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. So, you know, but people are bound to die in the show anyways, and it's a war, so there's going to be casualties. I don't know. I'm, 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 no, I'm, I, I'm, to be honest, I'm really nervous for this conversation. I am too. I don't know... I don't know if it's going to be more of like a, like, yeah, like friends kind of like reuniting. I think that's like, I don't think it's going to be that, but I don't know if it's going to be more like that or if it's going to be more like a stay out of the way. Like I'm, I need to do this. I don't like, he's trying to tell them that he doesn't want to hurt them in like the nicest way possible to say like, to yeah. stay out. The fact that you know? he came in though with his hand cut. That's the only, if he didn't have that, I would expect it to be probably like a, a, a nice like conversation. Or if he, now I'm scared. Or if he truly came alone. Yeah, because he came with his whole group, yeah. so that worries me too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Armin is the colossal, so I guess you have to take precautions. Some precautions, but I mean, if Armin changed right then and there, he would obviously sacrifice Mikasa. Yeah, everyone, and all, every die. everyone, everyone he so loved he would can. die. He really can't. He can't. But if it was a means to kill Aaron, which you never would do, anyways, I don't know. I don't even. I don't know, know what's gonna happen. Let's just hop right in this episode. <laughs> that door. You open. just hear the door open. Yeah. Oh my dude. It's so good. God, oh. I just got more nervous. It's just so he walks in so casually. I know. They don't make it like an epic like entrance or anything. But he doesn't need love. it. You don't. Yeah, no. you don't need it. Sa Savagery. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what a name. Oh, there's a clock. Oh no, not a clock. Shizuka Okay. okay, that's nice. Oh, so he's moving them where? Yeah.俺が何をしようと何を選ぼうとそれは俺の自由意志が選択したものだ。ゲレナと密会した後の行動もエレンの自由意志なの。そうだ。いいえ、あなたは操られている。あなたは敵国とはいえ関係のない人々や子供を
So does it really like does yeah we we, we talk about that a lot yeah I'm. あかまみちぞくはエルディアの王を守る意図で設計されたんだよ。あの時お前は死に直面する極限状態の中で俺の命令を聞いた。戦えと。ウェイ、エスソの瞬間、お前の本能が目を覚ましたんだろう。偶然
god, what is happening? Wait. It's probably because they're too far away. Yeah. Uh, how is he getting out of this? Yo. Oh, uh, I haven't heard this song in a while. Oh, oh, what a shot. それはどういうことかわかっていない。自分たちには力がある。時間がある。どう、あ、can't Oh, Holy fuck. Dude. He is not fair. It's not fair. Oh, he's changing. Rematch? Yo. Oh. Listen to this. Oh, this music's so good. Just throwing fragments of bodies. Holy oh. shit. Dude. Oh man, and he's like taunting him too. Oh my god. This is this is so epic. Oh, Yo, shot. Yo! Oh! Again! Yo! It's over and over again, man. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh my what is it? This wind is stressing me out. Right? <笑>お久しぶりです、教官殿。突然ですが、この君たちの時代だ。我々イエガハは現在滅亡の危機にあるエルディアを救うために心臓を捧げると誓ったシャーディス教官を足腰立たなくなるまで痛めつけろ。これこそが我々が到達すべき悪臭そのものだ。粛清してみせよ。それができないものは牢屋に入ってもらう。No. 
いい加減にしろフロックバカな真似はよせハンズひよっこどもが何人かかってきたところで相手にならん<笑>よくやった君たち全員を歓迎しようじゃあ案内してもらいましょうかジークの交流地まで目が覚めたか Damn, look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Dojo and Anka Shinega. Oh, my, what an Obukano Inocho, Huminijita. Tenega, Gerok, so mammy, and Akua Mekomo. Sibete, Kaka Kadorika. Oh, my God, Tilkaneto. Tenega, Kujin, not Smodoria. What was that episode? Oh. Ah. We thought last episode was intense. <laughs> okay. Damn. I don't know where to start. I don't, know, I don't really either. I, I, what do you think about the Levi scene? Dude. One of the best scenes I've ever seen. The I mean, music was yeah. incredible. I mean, he's had some moments already. All, I mean, the top five like fights on the show are all him, I think. I swear to God, he's an all five. Oh, he's an all five. Yeah, if there's a top five, he's probably an all five. I don't think there is. And three of them are him beating dude, him. There's not. Nobody's as OP as this guy no. is. And I love it. Oh, my God. No, Levi is a force, and I, I don't know how to defeat him. Oh, no. I, I don't, don't know if I he don't can. Know I don't know how. Uh, but and then we got a little Zeke flashback, too. Yeah, that was. I, I Still, really want to get more I mean, that. I've been asking for it for a long time. I, I need more Zeke backstory to, so I can understand his character better. Yeah, I mean, I love Zeke because he's mysterious, but I'm to the point now where I kind of need to know. I need to know. Yeah, I don't need. I, I need to know a lot about yeah. him. Yeah, because yeah, I, I'm thinking that dude kind of manipulated Zeke, and maybe Zeke's kind of doing the same thing to Aaron. To Aaron, possibly. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm, that's what my guess is. Because well, we'll get into Aaron stuff later, but yeah, I don't know why I have these on still. I did that last episode. I know. I'm, I'm so out of it. Like, yeah. That was insane. Yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. Um, Such a good episode, though. Yeah. Tense. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. Levi, he's a god. Dude's the best. Some of the best fighting we've seen. He had to kill all... I mean, think about it, though. They've been killing their own people for this... Yeah. The entire time they've been here just that shot of him when zeke's going and you all you see is him in the back we're both we're both just like oh see, my, how, here like, it goes i'm not even surprised no that's I'm the not. thing yeah at it's first like, i was we, worried then i was like oh it's levi it, it's like we've seen this before yeah but it's right? still cool as hell still every time thing yeah because there were a lot of them there was 30 right because he had to have killed them and then caught up to zeke yeah so that dude just went super saiyan like that was he just can't lose. He's like Batman on steroids. He might be. Um, oh, it's so enjoyable watching him fight, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's His probably... His fighting style is just so incredible. I, I think we've said this before, too. At least I have. As much as I love Titan versus Titans, my favorite is still when I see the gear in motion against Titans. It honestly... That's still my favorite. might be mine, too, now. Yeah. Especially because with the whole Kenny stuff, the, the, I love... Uh, Part uh, part one of season three, mm -hmm. and that had a lot of that, which I, I loved. think it was like all of that. It was, and especially yeah. the, my favorite, probably my well, number one or two favorite shots of this whole show is that intro episode. What two, two. intro of when two? Levi's just it's one of the best shots. Oh, of the whole it's show. one of the best things I've ever seen yeah. animation wise. Oh yeah, it's done perfectly. But 
anything. No, and with the 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 what's it called? The the, the extra Titan stuff, not the show. The Levi's, uh, you know, like the side episodes. Oh, Ovas. Levi's Ovas. When he was flying Remember through the that buildings. One? Yeah. And that's when he wasn't even like a a scout yet or anything. We saw Irwin too. For us, we got two, we two got, seconds. We got a little taste of Irwin. It's been a I while. Miss Irwin. I miss Irwin too. Great yeah. character, but. He, like, served his purpose on the show perfectly. So mm-hmm. I'm not, like, upset. I'm not either. I'm just, you know, a little reminiscent. Like, yeah. Oh, hey, watching it back Irwin. is going to be so fun to see Ir- Irwin again. I love the whole forest stuff, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. It kind of brought me back to season one. It's still my favorite fighting places. The gear in the wood forest. Yeah. Like, it's my favorite. Like, I still think one of my favorite shots of this entire show is when Aaron learns the gear in... It's the third episode. I can't remember what episode it is. I think it was three or four, right? It was, like, it was, it was two, three, or four. And yeah, it was when he was. I think it was three. Yeah, and the and he, we even got him back too, yeah. who was in the episode, and when he was for the first time, that was the I almost I had like tears in my eyes for that episode, and that yeah. was before I even knew anything about the show, right. just because of how beautiful that. that scene was. I still remember that because right after right after that episode, we looked at each other and we were like, "This is this it. This is it. Yeah, like, this is the show." I think. Yeah, and it's still still doing it to this day. Yeah, um, We've come a long way though. Oh yeah, a long, long way. way. Yeah, couldn't couldn't have wished for it better though. No, it's everything's been so good. Yeah, and then Flock's doing Flock things. Flock's doing Flock's thing. I he always kind of annoy me. Part of me has part of me likes him. The fact only that he he kind of was like that one up, you know, in the in the season three. He, yeah, I know he was whining and stuff, but he did try and sacrifice himself. Yeah, that's that's the only thing that makes me not hate hate him mm-hmm. yeah he's annoying he's like super <laughs> annoying but he's a good character for what he represents he to the show yeah it's just i don't i can give two shits about him he's that side character of like the villain yeah that like it's just annoying you yeah know? no yeah he's like, like he's the uh i think we're thinking of the same person no 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 the Dukes oh the is, yeah 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 worm, like, worm tongue worm tongue yeah, yeah he, like he that, is a worm know? tongue he's that's like worm, exactly who yeah. he is <laughs> i was thinking of uh what's his name from you know uh dracula's assistant i've never seen any of that jesus i suck what is it frankenstein well actually no he is frankenstein's assistant i guess wow i must be tired yeah <laughs> um Overall, though, this episode was very, like, cinematic. And it was very, very, like, a lot of things happened. A lot of things I didn't like happened. But just because I didn't like it, it's not going to stop me from enjoying what ha- what's happening. You know what I yeah. mean? It's like, uh, there's, like, two parts of me where it's, like, one part of me is, like, this is really, really fucking good television. Or anime, I guess. Like, you know, what it, what it is. Yeah. It's amazing. And then the other part of me is, like, well, shit. Yeah, I guess that's that's the best phrase to kind of use right now. Yeah, uh, I've been a huge uh, su- supporter of Aaron. Yeah, I still deep down think though that's not Aaron. The dark side's taking over him, man. Yeah, something something is up. So, something has to be up. Two years is a long time. I don't know. It's just for me, this episode hit real hard because my favorite thing of this show is Mikasa and Aaron. Obviously, I love everything else, too. It's just, to me, their relationship for me was just so important for what it stands for. Just because I feel like Mikasa, as a character, has used her character to make sure the protagonist, Aaron, can be the character he, who he is. And I always love supporting characters in that sense. Even though she, she's, you can consider her a main character. Yeah. But in a sense, she's always been like a supporting main character for the main character. But not only that, their love, w- or whatever it was, was always super strong and deep and that's why i was like rooted into it and you know like seeing a scene like that's really hard but yeah i'm like i don't know there's like two ways i'm thinking of it it's one aaron's telling the truth and he's saying all those things and it makes sense because they even sort like through this whole show he has there's been moments where you can see on his face where he gets annoyed of her or he doesn't want her around mm-hmm. or he gets annoyed that she's always there he can't do it himself or something but I don't know, because then there's that scarf scene in season Uh, two finale. I know. Where he said that to her. And that was like one of the best, probably top three scenes for me, was when, you know, he told her that he would wrap the scarf around her. That's my favorite scene in the whole show. That's probably mine too. It could be number one. 
And I don't know, like now it's like a mixed message because he said that he never cared for her. When I don't think that's true. And that's why I've had this thought for the last couple episodes, ever since like Aaron's been going weird, was I still think he is, I'm hoping that he's playing them. And because the reason why, like right now, Aaron, in a weird way, and I don't want people to take this the wrong way, for me, is the most relatable character. Like, it's scary, some of the things like he's been doing. But only in my head, because in my head, I feel like there's more to it. But we haven't seen it yet. But as, like, a writer or something, I, or as Aaron's character, me, myself, would try to get my friends as far away from this as possible. And the best way to do that would be to yeah. get them far away. Or Thanks. tell them that he doesn't want them because maybe that'll save them from having to deal with the problems that he's going to have to do. Because Aaron still, at the end of the day, from from the first episode, has been a full person. So, but then he's doing these things in like a two-year span. When obviously shit has happened to this guy. And it's obvious. But I, I don't know. I, I deep down truly want to believe that he was just telling them those things. To, to protect them because that's what yeah. I would do the first three seasons of Aaron he's always been a top three character for me I just didn't know if he was one or not and then this season he's one now he's 100% my favorite character on the show or like he's relatable obviously some of the big actions he's been doing I'm just like what what so but I don't know just deep down I want to believe that he's protecting them that's what I want to believe because yeah. that's what I would do and as a writer that's what I would do and now you say I feel like the shot of him in Looking the mirror. The window. Oh, the, the, the mirror too, actually. I forgot about that. The mirror scene. Yeah. Uh, and the scene at the end of this episode with the window. I feel like... I, just, I, I, don't, I really can't believe what he said. I, I can't. No. Like, deep down, I just cannot believe it. And you're right. I feel like that's what... That's, that's what, what Aaron would do. So, I, I that could be what he's doing. I, just, I it, We could be wrong. It's, we could be... Or it, he could just be... Could be something with Zeke. Could be something. I still think maybe something with like memories or something. Like he got some, like. I don't, yeah, maybe. My actually, you know, brainwashing is a heavy part of the it show. It is. Maybe it's something to do uh, with the Titans in him. We've always said that that his Titans are kind of like conflicting. You know, like yeah. him. Uh, well, he just told Berthold that you know, or he told Armin <laughs> Ar that Berthold. Yeah. So wouldn't it be the same him. for Aaron then? So, and he has three. Yeah. That's so three different titans kind of messing with him possibly i wonder if that has anything to do with it i don't know uh the scene that still is with me for this whole time and i know it's with you since season three was the scene where uh, the old aaron said you have to do this to save aaron or to save mikasa, mikasa and armin. armin yeah i feel like that that scene I, shows you I'm that aaron's yeah. not gonna turn his back against him at the end I, I, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, you're completely right. Yeah. I, I, that wasn't even going through my brain. You're right. Saying just that quote alone, that that quote hasn't come back yet. It hasn't. So meta-wise, it hasn't come back. We haven't seen it. And that is a bare, very, very bold statement it where it's just like that is the statement that he used when predicting a future. That so It's kind of nuts. It's like... Wait. No way they just said that, right? No. Like, it's going right. like yeah. to come back at one point. What if that is a, like, yeah, it is to protect them. Yeah. Just like how we want it to be. Yep. It's just, from, like, where I'm sitting, that is what I would do, too. And it fits Aaron's character so well. It does. That's what he would do. Yeah. I don't think Aaron would go up to them and be like, hi, guys. Stay like, back. Like, stay back, please. I love yeah. you. Chill no. out. No, he's not going to do he's that. He's going to use. He's using his anger to do it instead, yeah. which works a lot of the time. Maybe he's not even using anger. He might not, yeah, he, he might, he's actually using his brain if he's doing it for the reasons we think he's doing him for. For all we know, he still could be completely he still manipulated. Could be horrible, you know. It's just, but he did use a little bit of facts with the whole. I guess he did with the Ackerman thing because the way she took down Armin, it, yeah, was like a, 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 a that was a, crazy. A statement right there, like wait, yeah, she just did, and then she kind of did let Aaron beat up Armin. And she didn't stop Aaron yeah. because she can't. No. So I'm going to be very, very, very upset if it is all because of a blood thing. That will probably hurt me a lot. Yeah. Dude, not going to lie, that whole scene, 
I wasn't even like thinking about it to myself. I was like, my heart was breaking for you. I swear to God it was. I was like, oh my, this is, cause I love Aaron Mikasa, I do. Yeah. But like when that was happening, I was like, oh no, no. I was like, <laughs> it's sh- don't do this. I was like looking, like I was gonna look over at you and be like, please don't do this. <laughs> because I felt so bad for you that whole scene. You know, I, I still was sad too, but like, I was like, please, you know, that was, I never expected him to ever say anything like that. Like he straight up just said, I hate you. I, he, like pretty much like an Anakin, the Obi-Wan, just like, you know. But you knew Anakin still loved Obi-Wan. Yeah. I, there's it's, something else. It's just, he, he, he was, he was too harsh. He was too Exa- harsh. Yeah. I, I feel like he was. So it's like, I feel like I'm seeing through him right now where it's, I don't believe you. I really don't. Especially for everything the show has been through, and this show is yeah. not one to disappoint. No. So I, I, I have faith that it's not just a blood thing, and it's just a oh you're only you only love him because you you have this need to protect him. I think it's more than that, and I want to believe it's more than that. And if it's not, then shit, that sucks for me. But <laughs> I'll deal with it. Sad man. But that, that I don't know. It's a lot because still one of my favorite episodes of all time of this show. It's probably been my favorite underrated episode. Number one is episode eight of season one mm-hmm. when Mikasa pulls Aaron out. That's still probably my favorite scene of the entire yeah, I know of the it show. Is. I know it's yours. So it's like, damn, there's a lot. It's a lot yeah. to deal with hearing that. But I don't know if maybe it's because I'm too attached just like Mikasa is or something, but it's like, nah, I don't believe you, man. I don't either. The whole time I was like, he's playing them. Yeah. Like, and I was going to say, but now I understand why the episode was called that because Aaron was being a straight up savage. He was being a that, savage. And actually Levi was too. Everyone was a Every, savage. And Flock. This, this was Everyone the was savage, savage episode. Yeah. Everyone Great. was a savage. Great title. Yeah. They couldn't have picked a better title. No. Wow. Shit. Yeah. But, dude, episode was very back and forth. Like, it was a great episode, but at the same time, it was like, I'm scared. You know? Like, yeah, I, no, I can't, I know I can't put saying. it into words. No, I'm, yeah. Like, <laughs> that, that's because right. Because I want Aaron to be good, but yeah. at the same time, I'm like, I'm so terrified that he's yeah. actually just a, a villain. Like, a villain villain. Yeah. But, but even after all that that we saw, Aaron is still my favorite character. He just told my... Aaron's my first favorite... Mikasa is my second favorite. My first favorite character just told my second favorite character that he doesn't love them, in a sense. Or that he's always hated them, I guess. However, nothing has changed for me. Aaron is still my favorite character, Mm -hmm. and Mikasa is still my second favorite character. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I think it's just because I'm too optimistic about what I think the real plan of action is. I think there's more to it. I think there is, too. Just because of everything we've watched on this show, I get like half the shit wrong in this show. So you never yeah, know. Yeah, I, I never get anything right. Yeah. I don't think I've gotten anything right in this show. Yeah, I think maybe like a couple times. Maybe a we couple. Have. A couple like little things. Yeah. Like he's going to kill that Titan. Okay. <laughs> oh, <yeah. Like. laughs> Sometimes that's a little easier. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. That, that, that was a hard episode to watch for sure, but it was still a crazy good episode. It was so good. I loved it. Yeah. I really did. Mainly the Levi stuff, but that whole Aaron scene, it did not go how I thought it was going to go. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, to be honest with you. <laughs> what the hell? What did I just say? I don't know. No, I mean, you're not wrong, but... Okay. But yeah, uh, definitely a really good episode. Heavy, just like every episode has been this season, but great. This season has been incredibly heavy. Every single plot this season has been like... Heartbreaking, honestly. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot. It was a lot. I think I still need to think a lot more on this. Wait, we only have two left after this? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that episode was brutal. I know. I'm not joking. When I, when that whole scene was happening, I was like, oh, God, oh, God. Oh yeah. God. To you. Like, I wasn't even, just, I wasn't doing it. I feel that. like just in general, you know, it just, it was a heavy episode. It was. Just because, like, these are, I mean, these are my, my people. These are, like, my three... Yeah. My trio. Our trio. Everyone's trio. Everyone's trio. These are like, you know, them three. It's, it's, them, it's the trio. It's them three, it's man. It's them three. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, good episode. <laughs> I agree. 
<laughs> well, you said that. You say all this stuff, and you're like, yeah, we good episode. Ready? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was episode 73 of Attack on Titan. Feel free to check out our Patreon in the description below. And, yeah, we'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.